Tim LaCastro to lead it off in the last of the ninth inning. He takes a look at a called strike at his 0-1. Mike Linskog alongside Dave Pulaski. Lone Mark Field. Game 5, best of 5. Bottom 9, it is 5-4 high desert. LaCastro, the 0-1, saws him off. Ground ball slowly hit right side. Got to hurry to throw in time. One away. Evan Van Hoosier along to Guzman for the first out of inning number nine. The Quakes are down in their last two outs in 2015. Oh, the intensity. Unmatched right now. The last time the Quakes were in a situation like this was in the league championship series against the San Jose Giants, a game they would lose in extras and watch the Giants celebrate on their home field way back in 2010 as an Angel affiliate. The pitch to Verdugo is a called strike, 0 and 1. Everybody from both teams respectively on the dugout rail watching. Verdugo tonight is 1 for 4 with a single. Had a home run last night. He's got game time power. He swings and fouls it back. Straight power versus power right here as Dakota Watts is not messing around. An interesting choice. Rolled out here by Spike Owen, a guy who threw two innings yesterday, a guy in the regular season with an 8-plus ERA, and yet he's getting the job done here in this series. 0-2 on the way to Verdugo, swing and a miss. Game time, two down on four pitches, no less. Check it, five pitches. But Castro grounded out on an 0-1. Verdugo is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Jacob Scavuzzo is all that stands in the way now. Mavs feeling it. Quakes with the pressure on them. Two down. Pitch from Dakota Watts to Jake Scavuzzo. A strike and a breaking ball. And Scavuzzo wasn't ready for that one. 0-1. Cody Bellinger, the RBI leader, waits on deck. And... Well, you can imagine every possible scenario that exists with Bellinger waiting in the on-deck circle. Pitch to Scavuzzo. It's fouled back, and it's game time. The Quakes are down to their last strike of 2015. Whatever you do at home to rally, I suggest you do it now. Two down. Belly on deck. 5-4 Mavs. 0-2 to Jake Scavuzzo, outside, it misses. The Mavericks were ready to pour out of the dugout, but that was off the plate by a good six inches. Don't you dare, Reed Gibbs, don't you dare. Watching with their hearts, not their eyes. They really want it, not getting it yet. One and two on the way to Jake Scavuzzo. Slow. Half that same contingent of Mavericks that poured out of the dugout a moment ago did the same right there. On a ball in the dirt. Two and two. Scavuzzo ready. One for three on the night. Two and two on the way to Jake. Fastball outside. Full count at three and two. Good at bat by Jacob Scavuzzo. Rallying from 0-2 down in this high pressure situation. Just got to do whatever you can. Get the bat on the ball. Put it in play. And find a way to get on base. Two outs. Here we go. Payoff pitch coming to Jake Scavuzzo. Here she comes. Low! Fantasize away. Cody Bellinger represents the Cal League Championship advancing run at the plate. Down 0-2. Dakota Watts suddenly says, oh, the pressure's what? It's on? I think I'll put Jake Scavuzzo on and give the Quakes life. Everybody in Lone Mark Field standing now. Mavericks fans on the first base side of the field. Quakes fans all over Lone Mark Field. High pressure moment, and the man you want at the plate is up right now. Belly had a walk off on Saturday. Can he repeat? The pitch on the way, line into the alley in right center field. It's down for a base hit. Scabuzo will take third base and hold there. Belly with a now to walk off, but he does extend the game. And Tyler Ogle, who just, and I mean just, missed a home run in his last at bat will come up. Here is Steve Mintz. All's quiet in the right field bullpen for High Desert. Belly didn't quite have enough on it to get it into the alley and pass the speedy Gurria. Runners at the corners. Scavuzzo wisely held at third. There was no scenario where Hasselman sends him. 
Gurria played it cleanly. Bellinger held it first with a long single. And the tying run is 90 feet away. The winning run is at first. And Tyler Ogle represents hope. And especially with High Desert playing a no doubles outfield defense, you're not going to send Scabuzzo on a play like that. But now you have Tyler Ogle, one of the most clutch hitters for the Quakes during this entire season. When the Quakes clinched the first half South Division title at Visalia in late June, it was Tyler Ogle who had the go-ahead home run in that division clinching game of what was eventually a 5-2 victory. Here's Ogle with all the marbles on the line in this one, trip to the Cal League Championship Series at stake. We're all going to explode or it's all going to come crashing down right here. 5-4 Mavericks, runners at the corners, two away, bottom nine. Watts to Ogle. Fastball, low and outside, not by much. 1-0. Delvis Morales in the on-deck circle for Rancho Cucamonga. He was the defensive replacement for Paul Henneke. 1-0 and oh, on the way to Ogle. Low, ball 2-2-0. Two, two and, oh. and Dakota Watts starting to feel it now as he has missed on six of his last seven pitches. The only pitch that he didn't miss on, Bellinger wrapped it into the alley for a long single. Good hitter's pitch coming. 2-0 and on the way to Tyler Ogle, inside and low ball three. Ogle wants to hit right here, and he's not going to get a chance unless Watts comes away with a strike here in the next couple of pitches. Will the 2015 season hang in the balance of Delvis Morales on deck? 3-0 and on the way to Tyler Ogle, outside, ball four. Because we wouldn't have it any other way. Unbelievable. With two outs, down to their last strike, the Quakes have loaded the bases. Walk, single, walk. Scabuzzo, after being down 0-2, walked on four. Belly ripped the first pitch single. Ogle walks straight on four pitches. Delvis Morales, he will actually be pinch hitting for what would be Dylan Moyer. There was some confusion, of course, with Ogle, the designated hitter, entering the game as catcher. Some moves that are kind of yet to be determined there as the Quakes. Delvis batting from the left-hander side. 2-1 on the way to Morales. Ground ball towards the hole in third. It's up in the air. Belly's going to come around. The Quakes will play for the Cal League title. Unbelievable. Memo to San Jose. Make your bus reservations for Rancho Cucamonga. We'll be waiting for you. Unbelievable. And the Quakes are now mobbing Delvis Morales on the edge of the infield grass between first and second base. What an unreal turn of events. You can't help but feel for the high dozen Mavericks. Some of them are just standing, hands on their knees in the middle of the baseball diamond. They refuse to walk off the field. They're just in disbelief of what just happened as the Quakes turn out with a 6-5 win in Game 5 of the South Division Finals. And now the Quakes continue their quest for the first Cal League Championship since 1994.
Oh, my God.